Darth slaves. The tower has devoured the hearts of my people. All except slave us. So how to come to the march, or is there any way we can help each other? How to come blank. to the march? I do not know. Darkness falls, then rises. Leaves the tower behind like a weapon dropped on a field of blood. <laughs> smells of fire pits and cities, things not of the marsh. Not even moonlight will touch it, for the tower drinks its light. It is a black kiss, a serpent's bite on the land. So it just appears, yeah. appeared one day, and what lies in this tower? Within the tower is a spider of doors, bones, death. The spider wears the snake skin of a female. A human. She has great power, terrible anger, yet she has bones and hate only, with no blood body. She rose from the marsh after dying beneath its waters. So what does she want with your people? She gives them weapons of metal, so they may take cities for her. Oh, death metal. My people slay trees. No. Build great wooden machines that throw spears and rock. Make mud roads to Onyx door and marsh. The one you walked through when you came here. She leads them to war. One they cannot win. She will make the sky rain with the blood of my people. Turn the tribes into a feast for the butchers. This is the way this dude's moving around. It's like way over exaggerated. Okay. How come you don't start the tower? Slave us speak to the water. The mist. Slave us serve the marsh. Tower is a thing of your weak blooded people. Humanized cities. It smells of fire and hate. It does not belong in our lands. Slave us would never raise his spear to such a thing. Yet this has claimed my people. My people who need nothing of your cities. This marsh is big enough for many tribes of my people. Yet the spider within the tower wants to drive them into human cities to spill human blood. She promises gold, steel, food. Doing this will only kill my people. Why do you call it? Have no use for such yep. things. Why do you call her the spider of doors? It is what she does. She makes onyx doors to dry places far beyond our lands. To cities and tribes of your people. That door in the innards of the human shrine you step from is one of these doors. Uh, maybe we can help each other. I need to get inside this tower to speak of, uh, you speak up and stop at this woman. If you will strike the spider within the tower, then I will give you help any way that I can. Supplies, guidance, these things I may help you with. If you wish to reach the tower, you must first go to the tribes of my people. Slave us shall ungrow the walls of vines in your path. Clear the way for you. Continue along the snaking trail of mud to the drowned town of Hebans. Now the great gathering place of the tribes of the marsh. Beyond the drowned city is the tower. Do they have any weakness? The tribes are camped in the innards of the human drowned city. To scatter them, you must break the spine of the tribes. Find our king, Sessit. Very strong, very angry, but stupid. Like big tree. He lives in Great Stone Fort in Human Town. Find him there. Kill him. Sessis death will make the tribe scatter like wolves and snakes. Follow the drugs. They will lead you to my people. 
Very well, I'll go to the Drama City then. Before I go, is there anything I can, any other aid you can give me? Once before the great drowning, <laughs> our land was the land of your people. Now, under the water, many things of your people can be found. Things of steel and magic. Slavers cannot use them, does not need them. The great drowning? Long ago. In the days when the sun's face was upon these lands and my people had not yet come, a king of your people claimed this land for his own. Tell me of this king. All this king sees, he claims as his. All he can touch, he says is his. He was foolish, greedy like most humans. But one day a shaman came, sat in the middle of the lands, and sees not the king, hears him not, makes king's blood burn like fire. What did the king do? The king sent soldiers to make great shaman see and hear him, but the shaman turns the land against him, throws fire at warriors, turns others to rock. The shaman makes king seem like little hatchling, makes the king very angry. Then what does the king do? So king finds another shaman, sends him after the first to make the first one see and hear. Shamans have big battle, turn the land against each other, both shamans die. The land becomes very angry. And the land became angry? The land became angry. Water beneath earth became angry. <laughs> water rises from water stair and swallows the warm blood kingdom. Kill your people. It was punishment. Punishment for a king that claimed to own land. No one owns land. What is this water stair? Great break in land. Water pours up through it. Keeps the land beneath the water. Brings mist. Do not go there. Very dangerous place. Okay, okay. Can I see what supplies you have? Sell. Yep. Bye, bye, bye. One seventeen. One twenty. Like I said, it's the best sword in the game. <sighs> now what am I wearing? You're w wearing full plate plus. You're wearing enchanted armor. The best enchanted armor? Pretty uh, much. For this section of the game, yeah. Yeah. See, he's got a ring of strength plus three. We've got plus fifteen. I'm just kind of curious on how this looks, though. I just want to see how this looks. What the half plate set? Yeah. What happened? I think a cutscene. He said he was going to ungrow the vines. Oh. Yeah. Bye bye, door! Alright, cutscene over, and then you can go into your inventory. Okay, I was just curious. Like, what? Alright, so.